Welcome to the Envision Community Marketplace, where we showcase and review applications, plugins, and themes for the best community software on the web. Today, we're going to take a look at Members Social Info version 2.0.0 by the Jackal84. The cost of this application is $17.50 with a $5 per every six months renewal. It's compatible with version 4.2 and 4.3. The description says, let your members set their social profile links and show them on their profiles, topic posts, and hover card as a choice of stacked font icons or normal font awesome icons or upload your own icons. Each icon is clickable to open a new window to their selected link. Let's go ahead and download this file. Head over to your dashboard and applications. Install, choose the file you just downloaded. Once we've got it installed, we'll head over to members in the ACP and you'll have a new member social info box here. Go ahead and go to social sites and you'll see a ton you can enable or disable. Uh, I don't know what that is or that is, so we'll disable those. And the rest look good. Save. Now up on the top right you'll see a settings option. From here you can choose which groups of users can use the social icons and which groups of users can see the social icons that these users are using. Under display settings we have a lot of options. In the topic panel where do you want to show it? Show at the bottom of the user's post or in the user's info panel. You can also have the option to hide it inside of topics. On a hover card, you can hide it from the hover card. Members profile, show it at the top or the bottom. Or you can hide it on the profile. Member search page. So when you're searching for members, you can say, I don't want to show their social info on the search results. And then on the user menu itself, do you want it to be under the settings tab? or under the content tab. Hit save. And you can also sync your plugin links. Once all that's done, go to social icons. From here you have the choice of four different options. You can do font awesome icons, font awesome stacked squared icons, font awesome stacked circled icons, or you can upload your own custom icons. For this example, we're going to use Stack Circled. And now I can choose different icons if I want. And where I choose those, if I don't want the ones that are defaulted in there for us, you'll want to head over to a site called fontawesome.com. That'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Search for the one you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for uh, the Google icon I want to use. So we'll type in Google. And here we have all of the Google icons. I'm going to go with just the regular Google. And I'll see that it's just named Google. If I go back and look at Google Plus Square, I'll see it's called Google Dash Plus Dash Square. And I would just change that here to whatever I want it to be. Google dash plus dash square if I wanted that to be the Google. All right, once you've got all your settings or your icons chosen, hit save. And we'll take a look at how to configure this now on the front end from the user's perspective. So I'm a user on the site. I'll go ahead and refresh this now that I have it installed. I'm going to want to go over to my profile up here and go to profile in the user bar. And from here, I'll see social info. I can click that button. Put in any of my social info. First, there's a social info tab, streaming services, gaming services, and other, like my personal website. We'll go ahead and fill in a couple of these just so you can see what it looks like. Hit save. 
And there you have it. Now we have social info here with the icons that I've filled in information for. If I click those, they'll open in a new tab. And that's not the only place they show, of course. If we hit to the forums, I'll see this post by myself and it has my icons I've just selected. And also, here is a hover card and they show up in the hover card as well. Another thing that this application works really well with is another application by the Jackal84 called Enhanced User Info Panel. We'll do a review on this later, uh, but it basically changes that, that info panel on the left to something a little cooler, and they show up really nice using this, this application, as, they would, as you would expect. Uh, they're both by the same developer. Like I said, we'll take a look at that next time. There you have it, folks. I really enjoy the application. It's great for users. Uh, it's really especially nice for members that have their own websites. They want to showcase those websites, and that's a great way to do it. Now I want to head back to the settings and show you a couple of other options here and how they look. So if you go back to display settings, under the settings tab or under the content tab, what does that mean? That means if we're over here, do I want it to show under this content area or do I want it to show under the settings area? So you don't have to go to the social info here on the tab for under the profile. What you can do is go here and access social info to go directly to the box of settings. Next I want to take a look at on the members profiles. So right now it's at the top. So if we head back here to my profile We'll see it shows it right here. Now if I choose this at the bottom and save it. Now it gets moved down here to the bottom of the, uh, the panel, the page. <clears throat> Next setting is where to show it in the user info panel or at the bottom of the user's post. See what that looks like. Go back to the forms, go to a post. So it no longer shows up here, and now it shows up under here, right around where the signature area would be for the user. And one more thing, I just want to take a look at the icons. And let's try stack squared. So right now we have stack circled, refresh, there's stack squared, and regular font awesome icons, save, reload, and there's the regular font awesome icons. All right, folks, I think that about covers it. Let me know if I forgot anything. Once again, member social info version 2.0.0 by the Jackal84 on the Envision Community Marketplace. Have a great day.